What's going on guys? It is Matt with Dirt Road Cred here. Today we are at the Detroit Auto Show. We just drove seven hours. We are checking out my first in-person 2023 Jeep Wrangler in the very rare and exclusive color Purple Rain. Haven't seen this one in person and all we've seen online is renderings. We have one behind me. We're going to walk around talk about some of the big changes for the 2023 and the first one that I'm seeing. So let's walk around and check it out. So here it is guys, the 2023. Looking at the rain, it's almost like an indigo color. And then when you take a look at it, here is the main difference of the 2023. There's a little American flag right next to the Wrangler logo. Overall though guys, I'm really excited to see this one in person. The purple color looks killer. I can't, I can't be more excited. Honestly, I think this would look really good in a 392 or something of that nature. But just looking at it here, this is the first time I'm able to see it. So looking at it though, the color does seem to change underneath this lighting. I mean, we've got some indigos. It almost is like a bluish, kind of purple but there's some very fine metallic flake in it so if you guys thought there was a ton of flake there's just a little bit of metallic flake on there and it does look good in a lot of different lights it's almost a bluish purple i think that color is called indigo one of my yeti cups looks just like and i said it just the other day i'm excited though i would rock this jeep so it's really cool to see all this the way it is now the paint coat inside does say pht which is the purple rain paint coat first one i've seen like that this one does have the color match top it doesn't have the color match fenders though but it's still neat. you can see the roll cage inside with the contrast on the black but overall i'm excited to see it and i hope you guys are too and one of the biggest things we did want to talk about the 2023 in the purple rain i did see a couple leak shots of when the media day was but now camp jeep is behind us we've already got our wristbands on and we're all signed up but i'd like to go around because all these are 2023 so 2023 wranglers and gladiators not much difference when it comes to the suspension and such but the hill over there and everything they're going around is pretty impressive so maybe if we go up there we can see if they'll let us sign up for a uh, a 392 i think that'd be fine we can't drive unfortunately but we can ride passengers so for your viewing pleasure we're going to go around camp jeep and show you guys what that's all about so they just showed a little bit of the original 392 concept with the red dash i'm really hoping they do that 20th anniversary all right guys we're about to go do it camp jeep so we're in the wrangler rubicon today this one does have the two liter turbo in it uh, this is our four cylinder option doing everything in four low second gear uh, off-road pages are up so you can see that pitch and roll And uh, we have our sway bar electronically disconnected as well. So that's a Rubicon specific feature for the Wranglers and Gladiators, but it's keeping all four tires on the ground right now on this breakover. So you do get about 25 to 30% more wheel travel when you have that feature engaged. Uh, that's a button by your lockers. And then we'll throw on the trail cam. That's an optional front camera you can get on the Wranglers and Gladiators. So you having fun doing this all day? I always have fun making money, man. Are you kidding me? I, I was going to say, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a 22 Rubicon XR, so oh, nice. fully loaded. Oh, yeah. yeah, so. You'll ever go to King of the Hammers? No, trying to. Gotta go. Uh, have you been? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My buddy does uh, trophy truck racing. Oh, really? So, yeah, oh, that's he's cool. out there, and every time he's like, come on, I'll pay for you to go out. Like, yeah, I'd, love, less, I'd so. love to go out. Yeah. It's like Burning Man for people that are into off-road. Yeah. It's so fun. Highly recommend it. We're just keeping that right around 2,000 RPM. Uh, I'll kick it into first gear for the way down, but we do have that hill descent feature. We're just not using that today, uh, but you can throw that on right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so bill seat shocks are going to be standard on your Wrangler Rubicon unless you have the 392 package. Which in that case, you get Fox shocks. We'll get pretty bumpy, so just make sure y'all watch your heads. All right, hang on, Ryan. Heads, cameras, all that stuff. All the other, all the other <laughs> things. Yeah. <laughs> and then the off camera's gonna rock it side to side, keeping all of our tires at different heights. Uh, just again, showing off that suspension. Ta -da! <laughs> That's a good job. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done with the Camp Jeep experience. The lady that was driving us did an absolutely great job. She said you've been out to the King of Hammers, and she was flying through the course and just showing everything the Jeep has to offer. So if you guys have never been off-road and you can make it to a show that has Camp Jeep, that's the place to do it. Obviously, they have an engineer to pretty much max out the incline and decline that these can go through, and you're staring at the ceiling. So it was a good time in there. Honestly, I've only been in an incline once that steep in my JK, and I thought I was going to roll it over on itself. So this is a great time and highly recommended.
Well, right here, guys, in person is the Willys 4xE that we talked about in another video. If you guys want to check that out, definitely click the link in the description. There it is in person, the one they were using in all that running and stock footage. It's real. You can go up and touch it, so it's definitely coming. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed checking out the 2023 Wrangler with me, as well as all of the Detroit Auto Show I had to offer. That was a cool time, and the first time I got to see the rain color in person. Drop a comment below. Do you like this color, and what color do you want to see come back out? Personally, I think the color looked great, and who knows, we might even have to get one for the channel, maybe a two-door in rain before the order back. Banks are closed. Until next time though, I am Matt from Dirt Road Cred. Get out there and earn yours.